Garden State, Cake Boss. Film and TV projects bring more than just attention to New Jersey, they bring an influx of cash. But with hundreds of municipalities in the state and several film-friendly states in the region, courting film companies is work. Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop believes he's found a way to make his city stand out from the crowd. We've had a very cumbersome process in place, a lot of paperwork, a lot of different city agencies, a lot of roadblocks, a lot of costs, so we're trying to streamline that in order to attract more people doing productions here. The ultimate goal is that Jersey City will be uh, number one in the state. Now seventh in the state, behind cities like Newark and Montclair, Philip has introduced an ordinance that would make the city more inviting for filmmakers. The proposed Jersey City Film Ordinance establishes one point of contact for all film permitting and consolidates the number of steps required for various permits. It also includes the development of a website featuring a library of locations available for filming. New Jersey has long been a popular destination for film productions. In terms of New Jersey, we have a lot of advantages because we have a great talent pool, which we're a small state, very compact, but we have a lot of different types of terrains, and, and generally speaking, our, our cities and towns are, are very approachable, and they enjoy having uh, motion picture and television work. The state film tax credit, which is set to sunset in 2015, also helps draw production companies to New Jersey. Our program allows for uh, the uh, New Jersey Economic Development Authority to issue uh, $10 million worth of tax credits a year. So a production company comes to the state and they can get a 20% tax credit on uh, whatever they spend. Uh, they have to spend it here in the state, of course. The most recent reports show production companies brought $84 million into the state in 2011, including money spent on area lodging, catering, and equipment rentals. But some residents don't welcome the added congestion filming brings. Sometimes, you know, it can be a nuisance and people have expressed that. We're going to try to make people aware of what's happening earlier to mitigate that. But net-net, it's been pretty positive the feedback. Mayor Fulop hopes the economic boost for Jersey City will make the occasional inconveniences worthwhile. The increase in revenue helps every single resident here ultimately from a budget standpoint. I'm comfortable in saying when you look back uh, a year from now that we'll have made progress just because basic policy changes and a culture change. To reach number one will mean an investment of $7,000. But seeing Jersey City on the silver screen will be priceless. In Jersey City, I'm Madeline Orton for NJ Today.